It's been 10 years since a three year old foster child was locked in a closet and died. A community rem remembrance for Marcus Faisal was held this morning in Butler County. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us live with the changes that have been made in the past decade. Larry, this shook so many people up and, and was really had a ripple effect to many counties, didn't it? Oh, most certainly did uh, statewide, even nationwide, if you want to uh, go that for, far on that. Now, it, it's really hard to believe it's been 10 years since uh, little Marcus Faisal was murdered. And had he lived, he would have been a teenager today. Well, today, Butler County officials made note of the changes in its foster care system, changes that were a result of this tragic death. Butler County leaders observe the 10 year anniversary by reflecting on changes made and how it is important to ensure the safety of all children. Now, a tree will be planted in memory of Marcus Faisal. A tree was on display today in the lobby of the Government Services Center. It was August 4th of 2006 when the little boy was bound in a closet by his foster parents. Now, police say the parents returned two days later to find him dead. Prosecutors say that Marcus's body was burned by his foster father, David Carroll, and Liz Carroll reported him missing, prompting a search of an Anderson Township park. The Carrolls were later charged and convicted. The caseworker for Marcus Faisal at the time was on hand today, and he talked about just how the case has changed him. I've challenged myself to become a better person, to become a better worker, um, to hopefully I share my experiences that I have gone through, the trauma that I experienced as a result of his death, to share that with other workers, to help them, you know, become better workers. Paula Joseph Bumer uh, is uh, still a caseworker today. And it would have been very easy for him to walk away from all this and maybe pursue another profession, but he said uh, this tragedy was not going to keep him from doing what he loves, and that is to help children. And he says he wants to continue Marcus's legacy beyond today. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. All right, thank you, Larry. Liz Carroll was sentenced to 54 years in prison. David Carroll was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Amy Baker, a key witness in the case, was granted immunity.